Hello, in today's video I will show you how to make fully working pendulum and how to make it to hit and other objects. So if you are going to like today's video, please don't forget to subscribe and press the like button. So let's start working. As you can see, I've already imported a graphic for our pendulum. So let's create empty game object. Let's rename it to pendulum. And let's use our graphic. Okay, this will be our mount where we will connect our pendulum. And yeah, here it's our three parts of our axis. So first, let's move our mount to the top of the screen to make it look somehow it's ni somehow nicer. Uh, where is maybe yeah, it's here manipulation. Okay, we stay like that. Let's move the hand somewhere here. Touch the ceiling and here. Yeah, let's make it some something like that. Okay, let's move axe underhand. And now let's uh, add for our hand. Let's add component called hinge joint, and it automatically added component rigid body to the. Okay, so here now, what is important for us that we'll move our anchor to be connected in this position. So let's go here, let's change the anchor position on the y direction and let's move it somewhere here. And that's okay for us. Somewhere here, yeah, perfect. Oh, okay, great. And actually, that's all the setup we'll need here. We just need to create C sharp script. Let's call it pendulum. And let's open it in Visual Studio. Now, what we'll need, I mean, what we'll need for our code, it will be referenced to our rigid body we just added. Rigid body 2D. Rigid body 2D. It will be referenced for our rigid body. We'll need a movement speed we want to set up. Uh, also, we we'll need uh, angle we want our pendulum to move. So let's move, let's write left angle public float right angle and let's make boolean value uh, called moving clockwise. Now mm, I will show you, mm, I will debug the values and I will just add fourth to move our rigid body. But first let's, let's finalize our get component. As you remember, the get component to the will assign to our value because here we only declared our rigid body and here we'll assign our rigid body. So what you can see here, let's give a second the script. What you can see here, if we now attach the script, our rigid body we reference will be this rigid body. Because this line, this line of code text, uh, takes the first rigid body in the game object it is connected to. Okay, so just to clarify, I will show you something. Debug that log will use uh, will use use for our logic uh, rotation transformation value that z. Mm, yeah. 
that's what we need. And to move our pendulum, we will need a function called um, we we'll need to call rigid body 2D angular velocity let's write there by 2D it's just quicker to write rigid body 2D angular yeah, angular velocity is equal to our Move speed. And now, if we attach angular velocity, if we attach, if we set our value we declare in the in the Unity to our angular velocity, we'll make a movement of our pendulum. So as you can see here, if I will now write something like ten our pendulum should move. Yeah, and what is important, you can see here, this is the value, how it changed when we move to the right. And if we move to the left, let's write minus 10, we have minus value. So, full rotation of our pendulum would be 1 if we would rotate around this axis here, so around z axis. So what we want to do is just to move some distance. So for example, if we're moving left, we'll just want to move like something minus 0 0.2 or 0 0.3. Okay? So now, I will just uh, delay this function. That was just for the explanation. And and also, yeah, we have blue. That was just for the explanation. And now, what we want to do is to write a script, which will call, which will be called like, boy, let's name it change move direction. Okay, so what we'll do here, we'll check if transform that rotation that z is bigger than right right angle. Yeah, it's here. And also we'll, we want to check if yeah, we can copy this one, actually. This transform rotation z is smaller than left angle. Okay. And what we want to do here is just to set our value of moving clockwise. Because if we, if we move behind our right angle, we want to ch change our moving clockwise to be false. And if we if we go behind our left angle, so what is happening here? If we go to the right, if we move our pendulum to the right and we go behind behind our right angle, we'll change our value of moving clockwise, we'll change it to false. So here yeah, we are changing to false if we go behind right angle. The same for the left angle. If we will move our pendulum to the left and we go behind the left angle, we will just write that we want to move clockwise. Okay? And on the start, as you saw, we are moving clockwise. So, yeah. Let's write true. Okay? So here we are changing our value from false to true and now we just need one more function which we will call public void move. How to feel? 
So if we set our value to move clockwise, moving clockwise, then our rigid body 2D dot angular velocity is equal to our move speed. Yeah. And if we are not moving clockwise, so if we are not moving clockwise, so it's different than moving clockwise, this is the value we set here, our move speed, we just want to go to the opposite side, so our move speed has to be minus 1 multiplied by our move speed. So let's save this. Let's call this function inside our move function. And here, let's delay this one and let's write move. Okay, now let's go to Unity. And here, let's make our bigger speed, because if our speed is too low, we will not be able to reach our left or right angle. You have to notice that. that uh, let me show you. Zero. Left angle is minus 0 0.35. Let's say it like that. And 0 0.35. So, you will see how it's working now. Yeah, we are moving to the right. And now it starts to move faster. Yeah. And when it reaches to the border, it's moving slower. So, yeah, it would be better to see it like that. Perfect. This is our pendulum. You can work with the speed, and also, if you would like to change the behavior here, you can change like value. Yeah. Five. For the mass and now with so low speed it's unable to move our pendulum to the border and if we don't reach the border pendulum will not go downwards so remember to set that values correctly so let's make it 50 and yeah not yet 50 70 let's make it 70 yeah and now it will move much faster okay so that's how it works and bonus, uh, bonus explanation, if you would like to make it this X handle independently of our pendulum, let's move it here, let's add hinge joint to D again, and let's move our hinge joint anchor point somewhere here. Uh, that way you can make chains and etc. Good like. So here we have we have to connect rigid body, so rigid body from our hand, and now you can see the effect of our pendulum. You can see how it handles on the. Okay, where's the. Yeah, it's too heavy here. No, the speed is too low. Let's make it 35. Or, yeah, let's make it 50 you can see the behavior and if you would like for example to move it to stop the rotation you can always go to your rigid body of the axe and go to constraints freeze rotation okay let's freeze the rotation on the, on the lower position uh, let's make 50 and you can see the effect here Okay, so that's how it mostly works. And of course, if you would like your axe to collide with anything, you have to add circle collider to the to be to be able to hit any objects. So if I would now add, oh, let's add axe again, somewhere lower. And if you would like to hit that object, so let's make circle collider 2D, or this one, let's add rigid body 2D, 
and now let's uh, change gravity scale to zero so that way we should be able to hit our object Boom. and also if you would like to make uh, axe uh, to move correctly without any rotation uh, behind, behind our handle just make the axle uh, chart of our hand the remove hinge joint remove rigid body td and leave the only the circuit collider so if you press play now you can see okay one second for the unity and you can see how it's moving now so that's the behavior we want so that's how our pendulum works and if you like this video please don't forget to press subscribe and hit the like button thank you very much for watching have a nice day bye